Hey guys, I want to bring to you six major ministry achievements in 2023. Let's go. And if the wind goes away, you send this soul the first major ministry achievement is that of five international trips that I've taken since January. In the month of January, I was able to go to Canada. In March, I was in the nation of Guatemala. In April, we went to Turkey and Egypt. And in May, we were able to go to the nation of Kenya. Each of these trips were fruitful and it was just such a wonderful time being able to lead people on the mission field. Number two, we have traveled extensively across this country since January. Uh, unbelievably, I've been in eight different states preaching the gospel this year. Uh, as I've looked at my calendar, it's just been from one trip to another trip to another trip, crisscrossing the country. Uh, and what a blessing it has been preaching in so many different churches. Third accomplishment was being able to go to the state of Alaska. It's the first time I've ever been to Alaska and a friend of mine, Dan Ferguson, invited me to come. And it was just an incredible time building two Tea Challenge cabins there in Seward, Alaska, a time that I will never forget. The fourth major accomplishment would be that of leveling the land that we own in Hama Bay, Kenya. We hired some contractors and they came in with some equipment and they leveled the piece of property that we own in preparation of building an orphanage there in Kenya. Fifth major accomplishment is the exciting growth and health of our orphanages in Southeast Asia, the nation of Myanmar. We have two orphanages there, and I'm constantly getting reports back from our directors that uh, it's just overwhelming. The new children that are coming in, the growth of the orphanages, the health of the orphanages, I consider that a tremendous accomplishment. And number six is my instrument rating for flying in the clouds. Uh, most of you know I got my pilot's license in December 2022, and in March I jumped into the next step of flying, and that would be being able to fly in the clouds. If you cannot fly in the clouds, you're limited to clear skies, and that's not really good for purposeful trips. Sometimes you need to go, and you can't because it's cloudy. And so I've been steadily working towards my instrument rating. I've got uh, 40 hours of instrument time, that's what I needed, and now I'm in preparation for the final test, which is October the 30th. So we're almost there, but it's still a major accomplishment. Thank you all so much for being with us, standing with us in ministry, and helping us go and do the things that we are able to do. I know the Lord is in it. I know that there's still a few months left of 2023. I'm really excited about what God's going to do the rest of this year. But I just want to say thank you for standing with us and partnering with us as we bring the gospel to the world. May God bless you.